Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Core Java Tutorials. Today's topic is Method Overloading. Method overloading is similar to the constructor overloading. I'll give you the link of the constructor overloading in the description box. Uh, you can watch it before watching this video. Uh, so to define two or more methods within the same class that share the same name as long as their parameter declarations are different. So you can have two or more methods inside the same class with the same name uh, as long as their parameters list is different. That is called as method overloading. The process is called as method overloading and uh, overloading is one of the ways Java implements polymorphism and uh, this method overloading is also called as compile time polymorphism. Why we are saying it is compile time polymorphism is because uh, the compiler will decide which version of the method to call. Methods must differ in type and number of their arguments. This is the rule. The written type of the methods is insignificant. Okay, so it's not enough. Okay, so the written type may be different, but only with the written type, the compiler cannot distinguish between the versions of the methods. So written type is insufficient to distinguish. Okay, so there should be a difference between the type. It's, there should be a difference in the type and number of their parameters. Then only the compiler can distinguish. Which types of methods can be overloaded? Both the instance methods and the static methods can be overloaded. The advantage of method overloading is uh, the readability of the code. And second one is overloaded methods are fast because uh, uh, the binding happens during compile time. The method call and the actual method are joined by the compiler during compilation time. So the process of binding the method call to the actual method is called as static binding, okay, which happens during compile time. We'll see an example of method overloading. Let us take a look at this particular program. The name of the class is demo overload. And inside the demo overload, you can see there are four methods with the same name test. Okay, so you can see this is test method this is again test method this is again test method and this is again test method okay such type of methods are called as overloaded methods the methods with the same name but as you can see the signature is different okay so if you come see the signatures of all these methods the signatures are different okay right and the parameters they vary in the type and the number of parameters and their ordering also okay so in this case there is no there are no parameters in this case there is one parameter here there are two parameters with integer type here there is one parameter which is double type here also there is one parameter which is integer type here there is double parameter and the compiler can distinguish between these two okay right and uh, uh, in the first case, we are saying no parameters. We are printing when the test is called with no parameters. It will print no parameters. In the second case, whatever is passed is print. Like A is passed and A is printed on the screen. And in the third case, the test will take the two arguments and it will uh, sum it up and print the result. So there is a written type here. But the written type is not uh, sufficient to distinguish between the methods. So the type and... Uh, uh, the number of arguments only will decide which method is called. And the next case wherein uh, this is uh, taking one argument double type and it is returning uh, uh, double over here. Okay, right. So herein, okay, so there are uh, uh, four calls. Okay, so this is the first call. So whenever the call is made, the compiler will be able to distinguish because the because of the parameters list. Since there are no parameters over here, so the this particular test is called. So on the output screen, no parameters will be printed for you. And in the second case, we are saying ob dot test wherein this this is twenty five. Okay, now. Since 25 is an integer, okay, so this test will be called, okay, so now this test will be called, so 25A value, 25 will be printed on the screen now for this. And in the third case, there are two arguments over here and the two arguments are 20 and 30. So among these, uh, there is one test with two arguments and the type is also again matched. These two are integers type, so so this particular test is called 
and a plus b happens and 50 will be returned okay so 50 will be returned and you have to catch this 50 because there is a return type there so you can say int x is equal to ob dot test 2030 and you can have some system dot out dot print ln statement and print x on the screen so 50 will be printed on the screen over here and in the next case so as you can see uh, so this is a double value so 243.82 is a double value so this particular uh, test is called and uh, it will perform a into a and the result is caught in the result variable and we are printing result on the screen so this all happens during compile time okay so which method to call uh, is decided during compile time that's why it's called as static binding okay so this is an example of method overloading okay another variation can be like for example say this particular method is not there in the program so this method is not there in the program and i am having uh, the double method over here and uh, uh, say here in i am having an uh, integer variable integer i is equal to some 77 and it's an integer value and now i am making a call to test so i am saying uh, ob dot test and here in i am passing i into it okay now i is of integer type and in the overloaded methods there is no test with the uh, integer uh, parameter so what will happen so take a guess on what will be the output so s of course now this i will be converted since there is no test method with the integer parameter this i over here will be converted to double and this particular test will be called okay let's see some valid and invalid cases of overloading so in the first case uh, so uh, these two are the overloaded methods here there are two arguments and here there are three okay since there is a variation between the count of the parameters this is a valid case okay right so you can have overloading in such manner and in the second case i'm having two ints and in the other case i'm having intent float herein i'm having two arguments and two arguments but they differ in the type okay so even this is a valid case and in the third case uh, there is int float and float and int so there is a change in the order of the arguments so even this is a valid case okay so you can have the same types but if there is change in the order it is a valid case okay all these three are the valid cases of overloading methods and coming to this case okay so herein there are two arguments which are both integer type and the second method also is having both integer type but they differ in the return type as i already told you in the beginning of the video that return type is insufficient to decide which method which version of the method is called so this is an invalid case so you cannot overload methods in such manner so we'll see another case now in this case i'm having two methods two overloaded methods okay so one is taking double and the other is taking uh, integer now this is the method call inside the method call i am passing some integer value so now which method will be called okay so this method will be called because there is an exact match with the parameters okay now say for example i don't have this method in the program so now i am making a call by passing an integer value now what will happen is the type promotion rules will be applied so i will give you the description i'll give you the link in the description box uh, for the type conversion rules okay so all of you go through that video so that you will understand how the promotion rules are applied so now what happens is the type promotion rules will be applied for these parameters and integer will be converted to double and it will call this particular method okay so don't think that there will be a compilation error so this is all about method overloading